It's amazing, you know, to, to be part of the Red Bull family. Take a few days for you to get, find your bearings. Yeah. When you come here, you realize, and you straight away know why they've been so successful. The amount of infrastructure they have, <laughs> development, people, you know, they have very capable people here. We need some photos of you. It's in a way very different to, <laughs> to, to the teams that I have worked for. Like a dog finding a new family, you know, uh, you've been with, with a family for so many years. It's just a dream come through, you know. Hi. How are you? Fiona. Yeah. Hi, Fiona. Nice I'm Sergio. Nice to meet you. You good? He missed it. You want to go Red Bull. Adrian. How are you doing? Okay. You good? Yeah. Good, thanks you. Good to yeah. see you. Good to see you. Good. Yeah. yeah. All good? Yeah, all. Well, nice, yeah. nice break? Yeah, good actually. You went back yeah. to Mexico, I think? Yeah, I was back back home for, for Christmas and stuff. Okay. All good? Yeah. It felt really short, no, the, yeah. this break. Well, the last race isn't even a month. I mean, yeah. It's a month this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy how late it did go. So what's your plan now, Hugh? Uh, tour the factory. Go and uh, meet whoever's in. Yeah. Yeah, so Adrian's in there. Yeah. Your neighbour. He still has a drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> you drawing there? Yeah. Really? Old Can school. I see it? Yeah, of course. Wow, amazing. I mean, for me, it's what I grew up on. And I, I think I can... Well, I know I can work quicker than the guys can in CAD, so I can get things down fairly quickly. You do it all, all yourself in here? Yeah. Well, yeah, the bits I do. The, the, the bits you do. Very, very impressed to get that from, from Adrian and, and yeah, to see his big drawing machine there was very impressed, you know. All the time you cross through, through his office, he's drawing something. So the amount of communication he has with the driver, he understands what you're talking about. Like a driver, you know, it's like talking to, to a racing driver. Adrian, good to see you. See you later. Is that it? <laughs> Are we that good looking? <laughs> All right, I'll let right. you finish your talk. Yeah. Okay, bye. This is Pierre's office. How are you, Pierre? How are you? You're good. Good to see you back. Nice brand. So happy to work again together, yeah. mate. Yeah. Vamos, vamos. <laughs> well, are you guys go to first in the simulator? I heard it looks really, really right. impressive, no? It's, it's better than real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sergio, good to meet you. This one. We unlocked. Hello. Hi. Good to meet you. Welcome. It's gonna feel so different. I remember the last time I, I changed teams was uh, seven years ago. Planning department over here. And then. This is the vehicle design. Hey mate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then we're going to pick up Jeff, who he can show us into a few of the R&D places. Um, we'll go through the options first. I think it uh, can bring a lot of experience, knowledge. I've been in the sport in different teams, in different eras. I know what, what I need from myself, but I also feel that I can push the team forward in certain areas. There's already some good ideas that we, we've been sharing with the, with the team that hopefully we can, can bring some performance on track. What, what it is? Uh, so there's katsu curry for lunch today. Yeah, I'll take that one. Chicken katsu? Yeah. Cool. Morning. Morning. Welcome. Mission control. So this is our option, yeah. Is this a screen? Yeah, this is the screen. It's like the biggest screen in, in Europe, I think. So over a race weekend, We'll normally have strategy there, vehicle dynamics, aero. It's very different in a way that it's a new team. There are so many things that you have to learn and, and it just takes a bit of time, you know. But uh, speeding all, all that process, putting that, that work in, into all the, the pre-season. Hi, good to meet you, Sergio. Yeah, we are in that time where nothing comes uh, easy, you know, you have to really learn and work to, to get up to speed with the car. It's the same for everybody. There are a lot of drivers changing teams, so 
it will be it will be nice to see who adapts the, the fastest to to a new team. And, and there's where they they cause the all the pain, so they all make make it all look good. Hello, mate. You good? Thank you, mate. So, yeah, all the paint shops. You know what, where, how it's going to be the new car in terms of uh, painting? I'm not, I haven't heard yet. Yeah. And then that's where we um, lay everything up before it goes in the autoclave to be turned into a solid composite bit. Just in here, so these are the, these are the chassis that we're prepping up. Hey, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a difference, you know, yeah. because you basically do everything in-house. Two buildings. We've done two. How many left? Uh, five. That is impressive, man. So we'll go back to MK7 where we went for breakfast. Let's see if we can find the, the Valkyries. Yeah. There should be along there somewhere. Have you had snow? A little bit around here. So yeah, we also have advanced technologies. They did the um, green on the IndyCar. They, uh, they did the aero screen? Uh, yeah, they did the ventilator project. I don't know how much you heard about all of that. Yeah, they were for COVID, no? Yeah, they're all heavily involved in that. Yeah, that was pretty nice to see. Yeah. So this is mainly marketing? Yeah. Here. You do a lot of marketing, right? That was the first time. That's Gemti. He'll be your number one. So this space is basically where we do all big events, hospitality, we host partners, sponsors, guests, and all the cars from RB1 through to RB15. This is the last, latest one. So that was the 2019 car. So much looking forward to hold the wheel, you yeah. know, the actual wheel. Do to? Yeah. It's very thin. I used to have the DRS in here. On a, on a button? Yeah, here. But we'll do lots of practice with that. Um, we'll do some playing with it tomorrow. Yeah, pit confirm as well, no? Yeah. Pit confirm and um, bite point find. Yes. Something, that I think this is key to, to get on top of it yeah. quickly enough, you know? And we can get practicing that in the simulator. Yeah. We've got all the clutch paddles ready to go, so your preference tomorrow, we can then use in the sim uh -huh. and go from there. I still don't believe that I'm, that I'm here, to be honest. I, I never, really consider as a as an option you know because um, not being part of the of the red bull program at a young age it's a dream come true you know uh, be part of this red bull family it's it's just amazing dc yeah with the he's still there eh? he still turns up he does a lot of our show car runs and where do i'm supposed to go hey man how you doing all right, all right. we've just had a new new space built for where we're going to train our future esports racers. Oh wow. Wow. Where is the FIFA? Yeah. Over here? <laughs> FIFA I play a bit more. <laughs> I played to Max actually. Oh really? Yeah. I had a, I have a PlayStation at, at the track. Oh, really? In the motorhome. A <laughs> you want to go check out the Let's go see Valkyrie. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'll just uh phone <laughs> Stuart. Thank you, mate. Wow. This is impressive. Yeah. 1100 horsepower. And it's about 1200 kilos. Pretty cool, no? Yeah, I mean, there's nothing close to it, no? No, not that's road legal. Yeah. <laughs> it, feels, it feels a bit like a steward's room. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> the guys do they, do, the they do the pits up here. See you guys. See you tomorrow. Yeah, night. see you tomorrow. Uh, my name is Paul Monaghan. I'm Chief Engineer of Car Engineering. So I, I look after um, problems most of the time. We've done already. Well, a, seat, a seat fit is, is more than just a seat. It's installing the driver in the car. There's pretty limited space within them. There's a pretty, um, pretty tight set of confines by which we have to try and accommodate them. But you also have to handle five times your body weight under braking four times naturally, keep them strapped in, keep them comfortable, and allow them to drive Monaco for two hours or Silverstone for an hour and a half and, uh, and not become um, uncomfortable in the car to the point it detracts from the performance. Well, he, he doesn't have the same pedal installation, seat belt length, seat steering wheel position than Max does. But that's not uncommon. So 
A seat is a, is a generic word, it's really an installation of the driver in the car. Is that comfortable or is that uncomfortable? I just feel too high. I feel the steering wheel a bit too close. Whether you're installing the shortest or the tallest, you've got to make it work. There's no point in putting them in to be uncomfortable. How many seat fits have I done? I, I don't know. 40, 50 probably? A few, yeah. We try the belt first. Comfortable is probably the wrong word to say. They need to be installed such that they can drive the car without getting bruises, without getting bashed up, without sort of losing feeling in limbs because we've got too much pressure on the bottom of the legs, things like that. Comfort's not the right word. These cars are not going to be comfortable. You need to be installed to do your job and drive it competitively, and then we've got a good seat set. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it this one because I can see more the wheel. Yeah, it will, it will also be very, very nice for me to see the car on the ground with the tires. The driver yeah. needs to be secure, certainly during coronary loads, um, because obviously there's a high level of, of, um, of G-force on his body, and he needs to feel secure in the car. If the driver feels comfortable within the seat, that's it, he's happy. Do you think we can get enough support around the shoulders? Yeah, when we play the phone. Yeah, that'll fill in. What do you mean back here? Yeah. Okay, we happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, a two-part foam. It's a two-part polyurethane foam. So um, the, the, the same principles still apply. Uh, so you just have a bag, pour, pour the foam into the bag. The bag then expands around the driver and encapsulates the, encapsulate the driver. Okay. On average, around about two hours. Okay. Um, possibly longer, maybe shorter. The more time they're in the sport, the more they realise what they need from the outset. We might need to put just a little bit across there, which we can do. Yep. And now it's a case of trim it and see what we've got there. I wouldn't want to say that you know, one driver's going to come along and need a seat fit every week and some will come along and, and just do one. Depends how well we get it left, uh, right first time round, doesn't it? Harry's okay? Your son is good. You don't need any hair or makeup, that's fine. Okay. Are you okay to say into the camera, hi, I'm Sergio Perez, Rebel Racing Formula One driver, in English and then in Spanish. Hi, I'm Sergio Perez, Red Bull Racing Formula One driver. Hola, soy Sergio Perez, de Red Bull Racing y piloto de Formula One. It's obviously a new challenge, a new opportunity, so it's a moment for me to, to prove it to myself that I can, I can take into the next step, you know, now. And I look forward to, to work with him and, and push together forward the team. Se valora más el, el, el tener a tu familia completa, con, con salud. Eh, son tiempos difíciles para todos, pero ha sido eh, emocionante estar con todos. It was very nice, the campaign. Did you saw that? Thank yeah, you. keep check, keep check. Yeah, it's kind of cool, yeah. though. It's quite yeah. nice. How was the announcement in terms of uh, Massive Abby? for us. Like, oh, I yeah. think our website nearly crashed because it had so many people on it. Like, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Muchas Can we... gracias. I, uh, I love so much the brand. I um, have so much admiration podcast. for what they do, uh, yeah. the amount of support they, they do to the sports. You know, things in, in life, uh, you end up in, in, in places that you trend off, so... Yeah. Thank you. I'm so happy to, to be here. I still... I have to pinch myself a um, couple of times because it's a, it's just a dream uh, to be to be part of uh, of the brand and to be part of this of this amazing team. Cheers, mate, and good to meet you. Thank you, Paddy. When I put the Red Bull branding on on myself, it's like just like wow, you know. I, I just look forward to to have a very successful start, but more than that, a very successful season. I think these opportunities only come once in your life, so I know that and I'm ready to, to make it work.